Tom Kiffin. Well, Tom, yesterday was such a tease. I know. I just have no words for what happened today. Temperatures were in the 70s yesterday, and then we had a 40 degree free fall today. And temperatures were now in the 30s, and that's where we're at right now, and we're headed into the 20s. I guess the good news is we're dry right now, actually. The exception is, man, yeah, there's some flakes flying around here on the enemy webcam looking towards the northern center, and I think we're going to have more wintry precipitation here as we go through the rest of the night and even into tomorrow. We'll talk about how much snow some of us could actually see here as we go into the daytime hours on Tuesday, and that guy's got to turn into his uh, <laughs> I <see> <laughs> yeah, got my attention here. Low beams. All right, let's head to our 906 Weather Watchers page. And Peter from the Copper Country, signs of spring in the Keweenaw Peninsula. I love going up there this time year. Start looking at the waterfalls and start looking at the rivers, creeks and streams there. And they are definitely on a fast pace with the snow melt there. Thanks, Peter, for sending that photo in. And then Ron from Manistique. This was yesterday. Well, we were basking in the sunshine and temperatures in the 70s yesterday here in Marquette on the, the Lake Michigan shoreline here. It was foggy and temperatures were dropping into the lower 50s and back into the 40s here as fog came off of Lake Michigan. And then as we look at Marianne Bowers Taylor, same deal. She's closer to Lake Michigan. We had 73. She had 50 degrees here as the fog rolled on in and she had a temperature drop. And then as we look at Beverly back into Marquette County here, the city of Marquette, and we had the sunshine yesterday, so we go from fog to sunshine yesterday and beautiful warm conditions, a little bit on the windier side. Thanks, Beverly, for sending that in. And then Donna went out to Eagle River and she went to the waterfall there. Thanks, Donna, for sending that in. Fast moving waterfall there with the remaining snow melt. And then as we take a look at some other photos, I was out at Picnic Rocks yesterday and I got this photo of the clouds mixing on in. Overall, it's just a beautiful sky there, I thought. So I figured I'd grab a photo of that. And then as we look at some other 906 Weather Watchers photos here, look at Don Anderson Sr. 74 degrees at his place yesterday. Just a little bit of a spring tease. So we go from the spring tease now back to winter here with some of our 906 Weather Watchers here. Pretty much everybody complaining it's snowing here. And then we had Susan. She went out to Presque Isle on the west end of the island there. And you can see the waves kind of turned up there. Sugar loaf there in the distance there, and you can see the the waves up and down there. Definitely not a spring like cycle like we had there yesterday. Thanks, Susan, for sending that in. Cindy Escanaba, snowflakes flying around, and then Bonnie V said yesterday she was out doing yard work. Today the snow is flying around at her place here. So definitely a quick change from spring back to winter. And thank you to our 906 weather watchers for sending in the warm spring like photos we had yesterday and now the winter like photos for today. If you'd like to join our 906 weather watchers group, feel free to check it out on Facebook here. We show off all types of photos, including spring and winter, and we also show off some pet photos and the bird photos as well. Didn't have any of those tonight, but we do show those off on occasion here during our 906 Weather Watchers part of our show during Local 3 News. So let's head to our Max computer here. We're going to fire that up and we'll show you some lingering wintry precipitation ongoing right now in the central UP. But as we look back on off towards the west, we do have some more snow back across the arrowhead of Minnesota. And this is kind of heading our way here for later tonight as we close on in here and take a look at temperature. As you can see, it's definitely a winter like feel around here with 33 Grand Marais and Munising. 31 downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard. And we got 31 for Barrica and Lance, Houghton and Copper Harbor. 27 for Ironwood. Factor in what gusty winds we do have. It's putting a little bit of a bite in the air, including 19 for Ironwood. Future snowfall here, we're going to have periods of wintry precipitation, including some snow. And you can see Marquette to Munising the Gwyn and then westward. We're going to have that snow add on up, especially on the grassy surfaces, on top of your home decks, and perhaps on top of your cars here between now and late Tuesday night. Here's our community forecast for 
Marquette, and, or excuse me, we'll get to Marquette County here in a bit. Copper Country first, 22 for Houghton and Hancock, same for Copper Harbor, and then 23 tonight for Ontonagon and Barragon Lots. Lower 20s in some parts of the interior west tonight, including 22 tonight for Iron River. And then as we take you into the south central UP, we're looking at low temperatures tonight, mid to upper 20s. Jump you into the eastern UP, where we'll have low temperatures in the mid to upper 20s, including 25 for Munising, and then in and around Marquette County. There we go. 26 Marquette Lakeshore, 23 degrees for Marquette and or Gwynn, excuse me, 22 for Ishbeming and Nagani. 24 tonight for Marquette, 27. That's it tomorrow with some snow showers. Could add up a little bit. And then as we look at Escanaba and Gladstone, 27 tonight with some wintry precipitation and some of that continues into Tuesday, 34 degrees. For most of us, as we get towards the end of the week, temperatures will be in the upper 40s to around 50.